Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh, is it afternoon? Yes, it's it time. Is. It's afternoon. Oops. We are in Iloilo City. We arrived a few days ago and we have been just living really, haven't we? Just getting just used to living. our surroundings in the city, our favourite. We've never actually spent time in the city. We've arrived, gone out, done what we've had to do and then come back and left again. So today, we are literally standing in front of Molo Mansion. Oh, no, Molo Church. Well, it's in front of us, but we're in front of Molo Mansion because it's behind us. We're in between both. We're sandwiched. That's sandwiched in the Molo Monument. So, um, Molo Church, we actually came here yesterday, but it was extremely busy, so we never went inside. If we've got time afterwards, we're going to go inside and have a little look, but for right now, we're going to head over to the mansion, mansion straight first. away. Yes, let's, let's do it. Go. So we've opted for some rice cake. Is that it there? Um, uh, how many do you want? Just one? Uh, no, just one. Just, just, just one. one. Yes, please. So I think that's the rice cake there. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Oh, that and is you it. make it inside the fire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Taste. Give it a taste okay. test. I've seen them making these yesterday. Yeah. I wondered what they were, yeah. Oh, they're sweet. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Masala. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Wow. Sweet. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good. See Have a nice day. Thank you. See you. It's like um, coconutty rice. It's oh. so strange. It's like, it's almost like they've put the rice in coconut milk and then flattened it out, sticky rice and then oven baked it so that it's like a little cake it's mad, it's really nice <laughs> Right, Molo Mansion guys cross the road that's it there so we've got to cross the road and go straight there Let's do it I think it's warm, I can feel them What, the rice cake? Yeah, they're warm There you go so is this one of the oldest mansions in Iloilo or in the Philippines in general? I'm not sure but I'll let you know. Oh. Because so what me, you think it is. To me, this is just a, a bird with a house on her head. <laughs> this is Jesus on a cross ish. <laughs> this is a bird having a shower. <laughs> Can you stop saying bird, please? And this is a woman holding a fire. You no, can't, like. You tell me what you think like, of me. But that's the thing with art. I, I with idea. art. What if I draw a picture? What I interpret it to be can be completely different to what you interpret it to be, and that's the whole point of art. You have literally no interpretation. She's having to. a shower. She's clearly not having a shower. I think this is about taking a risk. He obviously is cold, and he'll risk himself burning to heat up. See, you have the artistic flair. Ask because I'm an artsy don't gal. Have it. I don't have it. This one. You think that's just a girl with a house on her head? You can't read no deep meaning into this. Come on, just have a little guess. Get in touch with your thoughts. <laughs> really? I think that looks like she's stressed out and they're all their worries is trying to keep her house together and her kids like sorted and I think that that is, she looks like a stressed out lady. And that all the worries are on top of her. No? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. You're just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't read it. I just look at the pictures and, and like the pictures. And this is who is looking after the world. The whole world. The sun, the fish, 
the sea. Look how look how the fish are in the sky. Well, the flowers are in the sea, and the butterflies are in the water. Yeah, that's mad. I didn't talk about. That. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> you don't have artsy eyes, do you? No. Can't be taught these things. Oh. You just, you just have them. I think this is about like. What about this one? <laughs> he's got a knife in the head. <laughs> and he looks like he's got one of them Filipino things with just the eyes on show. I can't cope with you. He's lit well, he's to me, you're hilarious. To me, this is about homelessness and dying to keep warm. You think? He's got a sleeping bag wrapped around him. Mm. On top of a fire with flying eyes, I've, and look how sad and depressed he looks. I think he's dying to keep warm. What do you think it's about? Well, I know is that that is Marvel or Wonder Woman. Right, but look at the rest of the picture, not just that bit. <laughs> no? No. I think this person down here is consumed by popular culture. It's taken over. Why an apple on his head? Apple apple phone. <laughs> this person likes the uh, Transformers. What person? The person who drew it or the person with the transformer on their head? They just watch Transformers. Who? This person. It's got a TV on their head. Yeah. The transformer. With white noise. True. Yeah. I've learned. I'm learning. Alright then. Oh. What about this? Suffocating. Ooh, good interpretation. Yeah, I learned that so quick. Yeah. But if, but remember, in the olden days when they would do like pantomime stuff, they would have like the cell, like the white tape with their mask on. So this could be like masking. A whole bag over his whole upper body. Well, yeah, because like if he's not happy with who the, who they are, masking, you know, about masking yourself. Welcome back. So facts for you. A man called Manuel Usai and his wife Conching. Conching, that's what you call Cody. <laughs> <laughs> his wife Conching owned the mansion from 1920, so it's 95 years old if my calculations are correct. And it was after they died, it was derelict. It was known to be a haunted house. It was left in a state for a long time before SM Mall. They bought it bought and renovated. Yes, renovated they, it all. So now it's like a museum. Yes, yeah, so it's like an art gallery. Um, they've set it up so they've got all of the paintings upstairs, and you can go in and view them. And to be honest with you, some of the paintings in that house really good. are really, a lot really better good. than a lot of the art galleries in England. Let me tell you, because you go to art galleries in England and you have absolutely no idea what's going on around you. So it was actually really interesting. I didn't have any idea what was going on around me either. <laughs> Cody was just telling me, this means this, this means that. It's like, okay. <laughs> okay then. Just nod your head. So we were recommended to come here by quite a few people. If you're not following already, then we do have a Facebook page. And when we go to new places and we're not sure what to do, we do ask for your recommendations and your help. So on our Facebook page, there were so many people who got back to us and gave us advice on where to go and what to visit. And Mallow Mansion was one of the places that was recommended by a lot of people. So thank you for those recommendations. However, they also told us to try the blue flower ice cream while we were here. It's shut. The oh, cafe is closed the today. The heartbreak is so I was really so looking bad. forward to it because it's so hot today. <laughs> but it's closed today, um, but it's back open tomorrow. So whatever we do tomorrow, Might maybe we can just pop down and try the blue flower ice cream in the next video just so that we've done it. Um, and then, unfortunately, Joanne's fish balls, her little stall is not there at the moment. So I'm hoping that we they're going to be there, there for though. dinner. We didn't go, it's found the other side. Oh, well, we'll go and check. I don't think it's there though. 
Uh, if it's not though, we'll come back for dinner. It might just be like a night market thing here. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. But it we'll was soon alive. find out. It was wild last night, wasn't it? It was alive last night. So we're just having a little look around the grounds, the gardens and stuff like that. There's like old cactus plants around the back. And we'll have a little, uh, a little snoop and then find something else to do because to be honest, I thought this would be a whole afternoon thing, but it was definitely an hour. Church. I think the church might be open. Yeah, we'll go and go and have a look at that. But first things first, I need some hello hello. Let's go. All right, S Tong, come on. So guys, we have finished our little bit of food and our little bit of time in Molo Mansion. We're now going to head across the road and go to the church and see if it's open. That is the plan. Molo Church. We've got some facts for you though. Don't think that I ain't got no facts for you about <laughs> both the mansion and the church. Because I'm about to whip them out and knock you down with them God. facts. I hope you've got a lot of time on your hands, guys. Sit down, because this is going to take about an hour. She loves a good old chat, doesn't you? Shut up. Good old story. I'm leaving him behind. I'm sick of him and his cheek, to be honest. Okay, guys, so we've taken the plunge. We've come into the church. We were scared to do it yesterday. <laughs> Only because, no, if there was a service, I would never ever come in here. Because I wouldn't want to disturb people's. Mm. Um, you know, it's a religious practice and it's important to them. So I would never disturb a service, but at the moment there's just a few people at the front sitting and looking. And honestly, when you look down past you, it's so impressive. And all of the people on the walls, all of these figures, they're all women. None of oh, this, this is the feminist church, right? It's got the name of like the feminist church because this literally, look at all of them, all of the saints are women. Wow. It looks so much better on the camera than it does because it's, it's quite dim in here, so the camera does a really good job of getting like the light in really well. Mm -hmm. So the camera does really well of like getting the light in. Yeah, like, look, have a look on the camera. It's perfect. It, it's perfect. Like, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? All right, guys, really Cody good. is going to get I'm some sure B roll for you. Like Crack on, kid. I think it's important to say as well. This is my first ever time in a church when it's not been for like a wedding. So this is the very first time I've been in a church that's just purely that you've got, that you've like walked into off your own accord rather than someone's getting married or christened or so it's the first time for everything. Literally every, I think these are called saints, correct me if I'm wrong, but every saint in here is all women and that's why people say that it's a very feminist church. Like they are all women and I haven't been into many churches like I said earlier, but I don't know if this is normal to have so many women saints or statues. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so the mansion is over here. The church is there. And we've been looking for this lady right here in this stall. I'm guessing her name's Joanne. What do you reckon? I don't know. Joanne has the best fish balls, apparently. Apparently so. We are going to go and try them. Let's. So. You're gonna try them, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna try, try them. them. I don't really like fish. Hello. Hello. So, this is the best fish balls in Iloilo, apparently. So, are you gonna try any? 
you get one and I'll just maybe I'll try. I don't know that gonna come Okay. Let's just try one person. Oh. Pressure's on. If you don't like these fish balls, you're gonna get bashed by all the Filipinos. <laughs> Really hot. Guys, get ready to bash her. Good. To be honest, it's the most flavor I've ever had in a fish bowl ever. Ah, you're lucky. The guys are getting ready to bash you, boy. Mm. For this one, do I just dip in? Yeah. Oh, what is it? It smells good. Does it smell like anything? Mate, I feel like I need that passport right now though. Mm -hmm. She feels real Filipino today, she said. See? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Spicy. Uh, medium hard. I don't like spicy. What's this one? What what's inside? Uh, we don't know. Not sure. It's very nice. Like no joke, Craig. It's I very want mysterious. It. It's really, really nice. <laughs> I think I want like 20 bucks. <laughs> well, Hello. it looks like they was a hit, guys. Thanks for the recommendation. She will be very happy. Okay, so she's going for another set. We're going to be here for a while, guys, I think. I don't know this magic sauce. Even the people don't know what's in it. But it's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, normally fish bowls are like doughy. Yeah. With a really like strong fishy yeah. flavour. It is the absolute complete opposite. I can't even explain to you how opposite this is. There's nothing doughy about it. It's like meaty. And there's no fishy appetite at all. At all. She's going for her third stick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my lad, one more and then we'll go, please. Because he's just studio looking at me like... <laughs> Go on in, knock yourself out. That is so delicious. I, I might just like take this whole... That's the, that's the wrong word. It's masala. One more. Say it, uh, like Say masala. So these so are 40 good. years that this has been going for. Longer than I've been alive. And you. Double I'm going to try life. one. Come on. Open wide. Come on. They're good. <laughs> they are good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they don't taste fishy. They actually don't. And now you at one. Oh. I need one more. No, you don't. Oh yeah, I'll take it with me. All right, I'll take it with you. Last one. Mm -hmm. So bad, so bad. <laughs> Last final one. So Cody told me one more. She ended up having three more, but she did get two for free or one for free. No, I said one more, and then you at one of them. So then I had to get another stick because then I was one down. And then... How many ha have you actually had? That's four. And that's and five. I said, how much? And they said, 10 peso per stick. So I went to give them 40 peso and the guy was like, come on, discount, discount for the lady. Mm -hmm. And then the girl said, no, no. And I went, oh, come on. And she went, okay, one for free. <laughs> I'm not going to come play. <laughs> All right then, let's go and get a tricycle, eh? Get me out of this sunshine.